Push-ups. This is not a time test. You'll do push-ups until you cannot do any more. You cannot rest. Your motion should be continuous and your speed should be constant. Only your toes and your hands should be touching the ground. Your chest should come close to touching the ground on the downward motion. Sit-ups. Sit-ups are a timed test. You will do as many sit-ups as you can in one minute. You will put your knees as close to your chest as possible while keeping your feet on the ground. You will keep your arms across your chest. When your shoulder blades touch the ground, you will return to the sit-up position, chest touching your knees. Flex arm hang. This is a test for measuring relative strength. The athlete uses a flexed arm position with the palms of the hands facing away from them. Using their arms, the athlete raises their chin above the bar to the start position. Once the athlete's in the start position, the assistant starts the stopwatch. The athlete is to maintain the start position for as long as possible. The assistant stops the stopwatch when the athlete's chin drops below the top of the bar. Shuttle run. This test measures body control and the ability to change direction, agility, and speed while running between two lines. When ready, the student runs to blocks, picks one up, runs back to the starting line, places the block behind the line, runs back and picks up the second block and runs back across the starting line. Blocks should not be thrown across the lines. Scores are recorded to the nearest tenth of a second. The one mile run. The purpose for this test is to complete one mile in the fastest possible time. After instructions are given, the participants begin running on the count, ready, go. If they desire, walking may be interspersed with running. However, they should be encouraged to cover the distance in as short of time as possible.